Hey, Cast fans, it's time for your Cleveland Cavaliers on SI Game Day Report. The Cavaliers tipping off the 2024 season north of the border with a matchup with the Toronto Raptors. The Wine and Gold coming off a season in which they went 51 and 31 earning the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference and eventually advancing to the second round of the playoffs where they were dismissed by the eventual NBA champion Boston Celtics. Meanwhile, the Raptors finishing the year at an even 41-41, and the ninth seed in the Eastern Conference, qualifying them for the play-in tournament where they lost to the Chicago Bulls. Well, the Cavaliers deciding in the offseason to run things back with the core group, the major change, of course, coming in the form of head coach Kenny Atkinson, replacing J.B. Bickerstaff after they parted ways after they were eliminated by Boston. Atkinson serving as an assistant coach for the last three seasons with the Golden State Warriors, but previously held a four-year stint as the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. His resume highlighted by some offensive success as well as a reputation for developing young players. One of them, hopefully, Evan Mobley. One of the main reasons that the Cavs hired Atkinson is to unlock Evan Mobley, the 23-year-old entering his fourth season in the NBA, and the Cavs expect the seven-footer to take a big jump this season. Mobley, his scoring slumped just a little bit last season, but with a revamped offense, one that will particularly play to the strengths of Mobley, we should see those numbers rebound here this season. Atkinson wants Mobley to be more of a weapon from beyond the arc. He averaged shooting just over one three per game last season. Atkinson wants the big man to tee up three to four each night. Well, this is the second time in the last three seasons that the Cavaliers have opened the season in Toronto. You may remember back in 2022, Darius Garland suffered a gruesome eye injury, forcing him to miss a significant chunk of time at the beginning of the season. And then last season, of course, Darius suffering a broken jaw, which caused him to lose weight, dramatically affecting his play. A couple of big facial injuries for Darius. Uh, the last two out of the last three seasons, the Cavs will be uh, content getting out of Toronto healthy and no major injuries getting out of game number one, which of course brings us to our injury report. The Cavs dealt a major blow just a couple of days ago when they announced that Max Struess would miss up to six weeks with an ankle sprain and an injury that he suffered at practice. Struess can stretch the floor. He's a dangerous three-point shooter. As we know, his absence will force Kenny Atkinson to get creative with his lineup right out of the gate as well as Imani Bates also finds himself on the injury report as he continues to recover from a knee surgery to repair a torn meniscus. It is a 7.30 tip-off from Scotiabank Arena. You can follow along with all of our written coverage over on si.com slash NBA slash Cavaliers. And of course, right here on our YouTube page with our pregame and postgame reports.